Okay, so the part of the chart that I'm working on now, and this is kind of like chart under construction, but I didn't want to drop off the radar. I wanted to do a, a and you know, I saw a really good video last night with uh, Eric Hogan, and he um, is a great enthusiast uh, at creating these tonal centers that it's just a term for um, giving a minor key, let's say a minor key, uh, its own relative root, you know, so, and I call it a relative root, he calls it a root, you know, so, and, and about modal, um, I guess, modal chord progressions. So what it boils down to is that there's actually a key of, uh, like a Mixolydian key you know, so this is, you know, so you might say, what key are we in? Well, we're in C, we're in C sharp, we're in D, we're in E flat, we're in E, we're, maybe we're in B flat, maybe we're in A, maybe we're in A flat, G, you know, these are keys. The key of F. You know, you can start here. F. B, uh, E flat. That's A flat. There's B. That's the key of E. Uh, the key of A, rather. Is the key of A. But it was an A major seven. Back to C major seventh. C major seventh is best played with a capo. So um, that um, we're going to be getting into. Um, basically, the there's there's another set of keys dealing with. Um, let's say we go from uh, C, do, uh, C Ionian, D Dorian, E Phrygian, F Lydian, to uh, G Mixolydian. You can call that that G five. You can call it a root, its own root. progressions on that we could do a, a, a few charts on that in the future anyway so um, things are things are changing and I want to get um, you know the lecture going on this chart and this particular topic because it's a very powerful thing to learn in guitar is this particular um, relationship between the modes so the Mixolydian mode, I put I put a seven there. It's really not, for instance, in the uh, E shape, the E shaped now. Okay, the Mixolydian really isn't a a dominant chord. It it's it's a major chord. Okay, that would be like me. See this seven? It would be like me going, oh, this is a augmented fourth. You know, I just put the seven there just as a kind of like a, a cowbell. Hey, this is the seventh, you know, this is the fifth, really. All it's telling me is that's the fifth, so I don't confuse it with the fourth. But really, all you'll see for that Mixolydian fifth is a, is a big V, a, a Roman numeral V. You know, and then six is small Roman numerals for six, right? There's five plus one. That's Roman numeral five. And it's on that side, you add it. If it's on this side, you subtract it. So there's five minus one is four. Here's five plus one, six. All right. So what it boiled down to is I decided or I figured out by playing on the piano that what I was going to do is look at pentatonic scales. 
okay and so we have a root pentatonic scale here okay and um, you can play it in any key this is the this is starting here on the E shape if we start the pentatonic scale on the C shape that's pretty much down here where and I'm going to take the capo off but this is where your fret nut is the regular caged C chord pentatonic scale starts right here and it, we got to discuss this now because I wanted to get to these uh, modal you know these modal keys um, kind of thing so there would actually be a key that's called the key of Mixolydian or the key of Dorian so the the fifth of the key of Mixolydian would be the second of the key of Ionian right but you can reassign that fifth in Mixolydian as a as a root so I could make my own notation maybe you know where I'll put a small root next to you know small r next to that five or vice versa uh, put it as a big r so the the fifth would be r and then put a small five next to it, it you know there are other ways to in engineering we don't let anything by so um, there's a lot of little sub sub numbers you know they're big on sub numbers like that we don't put the sub number on top because then people think it's an exponential but if you put it on the bottom it's taken as a reference number you know um, so um, v sub v sub c or something would be uh, velocity and then the bottom if you have a little c say in modern physics uh, it would be velocity as opposed to the velocity of light so v sub c or something like that anyway let's look at let's we'll, we'll get into that but um, making progress on this chart is is important let's look at the it's a pentatonic scale chart but looking at the pentatonic scale as inversions so let's say we have three five six root two and then three again like that on this C and on the guitar it would be shaped and I just want to play it without the capo because I like to I like to play big finger chords you know so it's three five six root two three okay that's the pentatonic scale and then the repeating the you know the octave got that going so um, I find this a lot more fun just to you know do something with rhythm instead of just uh, doing the theory but so this is the first pentatonic scale there and in, in the uh, C shape you know and the question was okay well when we go to the A shape what are we doing we're simply just doing the first inversion of this pentatonic scale so let's start with the E shape down here so we can get that point we don't get confused there and and that's what I'm talking about with reassigning roots to a, a scale degree it can get confusing so first let's start in the beginning so let's say we have an E shaped chord I'm gonna do like an E shaped F here it sounds terrible but uh, So I'm going to do an E-shaped F. We want to do a pentatonic. You know the E-shaped pentatonic shape? You're starting a 5-6 here. No, you're not. You're starting a 7 root 2. So you're starting a root 2, but we don't play the 7. So in diatonic scale box, you've got 7 root 2, 3, 4, 7 root 2, three four five because it's f we've got to hit that b flat three four five uh seven root two three four five okay